Hey guys, warm welcome to the channel of HFV. Our current location is Budapest, Hungary, my hometown, but this is going to change quite soon. We're off to Scotland today for the fourth time this year, and today's match is the Scottish Cup final. Rangers against Heart of Midlothian. A team from Glasgow and a team from Edinburgh. A team which has won the title 33 times before and another team which has won it 8 times before. The last title of Rangers was in 2009 and the last title of Hearts was in 2012. Today's venue, the Scottish National Stadium, is Hamden Park, capacity of 51,866 people, place of the national team matches, of course, and also place of the League Cup and Cup semi-finals and finals. The ones who are watching my channel for longer know that I'm going to places where I am invited in most cases, and this is the case today as well. I was invited for today's match by a Hearts fan who saw my stadium vlog about the semi-final Hearts against Hips, yeah, I was there at both Scottish Cup semi-finals. You can find both links in the description if you're interested. So a massive thanks to this Hearts supporter who invited me for today's match. It's a really big occasion, the Scottish Cup final. So I'm going to credit this person by showing the most beautiful goal of the semi-final now. Free kick for Hearts, 21st minute. This was actually one of the most beautiful goals I've ever seen. We are going to be in the hearts and guys today, of course, because of the invitation. And we have to mention that Rangers are the stronger side. They have much bigger chance to win today's cup final. And they are, I'm sure they're doubly motivated after they lost Wednesday's Europa League final on penalties against Eintracht Frankfurt. So we'll see how it goes. Now we're off to the airport. So it's match day now, the match itself starts in two hours. We are here at the Hearts Gathering Point, it's called Pakistan Bowling Club. Supporters bus here, kids inside. Great stuff guys, they're, they're really passionate. As everybody inside you'll see soon, I'm gonna try to make some interviews as well. So uh, this is the place and many Hearts fans inside, flags, well they're ready for action that's for sure. Let's see how it is inside. Here we have all the supporters. This is the place in itself. A bit more louder here. And you see the supporters bus. Well, what one of them came from? Uh, West side hearts, the other one from Longstone hearts. That's the place. Many, many passionate supporters, as I said. Can't wait to see this match. So we joined the Hearts fans today from which uh, which town and which country? So originally from Edinburgh, but moved to Oxford, and I've travelled all the way from Oxford in England overnight. Get here at half seven in the morning to come to Hampton and watch Hearts play in the Scottish Cup final against Rangers. What does Hearts mean to you? Tell us in a few words. Oh. I don't think I can describe it in a couple of words. Hearts means the absolute world. I will tell you, my, my, my girlfriend said, do you love me or Hearts more? And I didn't answer the question. And I think by that point- That's a great you one, can, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you see today's match? How do you stand a chance? I think in any cup final, any team has the opportunity to win it, right? I think Rangers coming off the back of the Europa League, with that defeat, they're going to be motivated to come out and, and, and try and win against us. It's the only opportunity that they've got to try and win anything this season. However, Hearts have done such, such a good job this season in getting third, qualifying for Europe, and this is our only opportunity to win the silverware this season. I think that we... I'm going to say that Hearts are going to win anyway. 
Thank you very much. Cheers. What does hearts mean to you guys? Hearts means everything to me and Jed. Absolutely everything. everything. to me and Jed. Family. Everything. Well, family. It's all hearts. All ears. How do you see hearts. today's match? Do you stand a chance against Rangers? We stand a chance. I do. But if Rangers didn't play 100%, we win. If Rangers play 100%, we lose. Right. I like that way. analogy, actually. That's a good one. Eh? That's a good analogy. Today's match, 50-50. It's always 50-50 against them. In a final. They're a new club. They've never been to a, like they've been to one Scottish Cup final. They got beat. But on a serious note, it's a 50-50. I genuinely believe it's a 50-50. If Hearts prepare well, that's it. We're good, but we want to win. We want to win. Score prediction. 10-0. Two one Hearts. One hour until kickoff. We're gonna leave to the stadium. Time to get on this double decker full of Hearts fans. <laughs> Supporters was came in from Edinburgh. I joined them in Glasgow at the bowling club. And now that we head to the stadium, they just carry on the same atmosphere. They created on the bus before they arrived here in Glasgow. This just continues. I don't know whether you can hear me. Amazing atmosphere here. The supporters bus was absolutely mental. Fans are really friendly to me, so really appreciate that. Now, as you would expect, our next destination is Hamden Park itself. Look at the crowd behind us. Look at that. Oh, crazy. Great one, this will be. Here we go, guys. Entering Hamden Park. on the other side all the people who are part over here in our section in maroon their traditional colors excited for this one we'll see how it goes oh look at that great skills there 
Oh, Art's inside the box. Clear the way. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a rich chance for Art. Oh, what was just missed at the far post by Elias Sims. Oh, can't believe it. Biggest chance of the match so far in the 10th minute. Art could have easily been in front. Really big Rangers chance. Oh, brilliant clearance. Rangers confident on the ball in the attacking third. And now Taverni across, it comes in. Keeper's ball. 20 minutes gone now. The one Hearts chance was actually bigger than all the Rangers chances, but Rangers are more confident on the ball. They're moving it forward uh, more quickly. So uh, their, their attacks are a bit more dangerous. Look at this beauty behind me, by the way. This is pure football culture. Scotland is actually one of the top countries in this respect. Amazing football culture. Oh, big Rangers chance now. Pass back. Keep us both. Insecure in the back, and Rangers can move it forward. Ryan Kent, he shoots past the post. So now we can watch Raving the Horse start again. Oh, look at that spectacular view on it. It's a tough defensive one. Every single failed player at Hearts is in their own half. Calvin Bassey, Kent. One against one on the left wing. Kent crosses in the end. 35 minutes gone and what we see that Rangers are pressing. The Hearts can cope with it so far. They're coping it well. They're dropping back failed players in the right time. Rangers are on the attack once more. Header. Big chance this was, but it goes missed. Sims. Crosses the right side. Out for a corner. End of the first half. Rangers nail. Hearts nail. It's a close match so far. Storm inside Hamden Park in the background there and calm here on the stairs just in front of it. So what we saw is uh, dominating Rangers, but I think the, the Europa League final on Wednesday is still a bit of plays uh, on their mind. So uh, they are not as confident as, as we would have expected. And uh, Haas got a few counter chances, one really big chance in, in the beginning of the match. And uh, otherwise they were really really great ranges chances but they can finish any of them so it stands nail nail it's not the, the best entertainment uh, when we look at the play itself but the the atmosphere is just amazing it's brilliant so uh, if we see a hearts go into the closer now in the second half that would be just insane all the celebrations so let's start the second half the team in maroon starts the second half crowd cheering nail nail Tight match. Oh, brilliant. 
They kept the ball under so much pressure. Which has to move it inside. Great defending from Regis so far. Ball still with heart. Boyce with the ball keeps it well. Heart inside the box. Just misses it at the far post. Right. To Lundstrom. Far dropping back. It's difficult for Rangers. Can't do anything with it. Basta with his solo action, he shoots! Great save! And keep us both! 83rd minute, if the team scores here, they probably win it as well. It was a really tight second half, just like the first. And no real great shots on target, not at all. No chances, but no shots. Another range is corner. Ooh, that was very, very close. Uncomfortably close. Hard survived this one in the 84th minute. Oh, spectacular. Really can't get bored of this view. The baby in about the scarves. 89th minute corner for Hearts. Keep us low. Can I shut fucking off them? <laughs> Green just almost decided it. 91st minute. Three, three additional minutes, guys. Green just almost on it. Really, really tight. Oh my god. Breaking from a good position for Rangers, 92nd minute. Another really big chance missed. This last period of the second half was more about survival for Hearts, but they're lucky today so far. And the regulation time, we go into extra time, no goals scored so far. You can see which team dominates the match. Hearts were really lucky to survive this in these last minutes. This is football. Survival is sometimes enough. We'll see about the extra time. It'll be really tense uh, for Rangers, especially although they're dominating, but they go into extra time for the second time in, uh, in three days. So many tired legs, but it's a really big mental pressure and physical pressure to hearts as well, because we're just uh, dominating it. We'll see about the extra time. So the Scottish Cup final goes into extra time and Rangers start it. On the other side, you have to say this was a brilliant shot to put Rangers ahead. They lead in the beginning of the first half of extra time. Oh! Big Rangers counter chance now. Three against three in the back. And it's two.
Joyous fans on the other side, so they finished parts off pretty quickly in extra time. Devastated fans over here in this end. And on the other side, they're enjoying themselves. They're starting to forget about the Europa League final, that's for sure. Great counter. Extra time and half time there. Two really quick goals for Rangers in the beginning. They were both really, I mean, the first was a great shot and the, the second goal was really well worked on the counter. They made their pressure count now, that's for sure. They're heading uh, to the cup final victory. So, I don't know, I think that might be the final score as well because not, not much power in hearts and the Rangers are comfortable now. They're exhausted as well because it's the second extra time for them in a few days, as I mentioned. That's it for now. Let's see the second half of extra time. Give me a shot. Looks like a decent chance. Great save. Keep a substitution for Rangers. Want to give a proper send off to a long serving keeper, Alan McGregor, who's now on the pitch. Oh, great save. Ball is still there. Still a chance for Rangers. Another great save. Wonderful burst from the hearts keeper. We have one additional minute before we see the Rangers fans celebrating. It's over now. Safe travel to home, boy. Have a safe journey home. Thank you very much. Here we have the 2022 Scottish Cup winners, ladies and gentlemen, it's Glasgow Rangers. Where are we going next? We are not going to go anywhere. I'm going to show you the celebrating Rangers fans and players, of course, as well. Guys, we are Matthew. It's Footy Adventures, one of the most famous British vloggers. Pleasure to meet you. I wouldn't go that far, but thank you very what much. What do you think about the match? 
I thought the match was incredibly boring actually from a football perspective I agree actually up until like the first goal went in an extra time it was so dull and I predicted that at the start of the game I was saying to people beforehand I was like Rangers won't be so tired from the Europa League which means they won't commit much Hearts aren't as good a team as Rangers so they won't commit much too so I think it would balance it in Self out and be quite a boring game, which was true. I'm glad in the end we saw a couple of goals. I'm glad it didn't go to penalties, but here we are. Rangers have won the cup, and that's what it's all about. Last big game of the season. Rangers are the champions of the Scottish Cup. You've been to Rangers quite many times, as I saw your videos on YouTube as well. And today you got to experience them from outside. Did that make a difference, or how was that experience for you? Um, it was really good. Like I would go to any big game in Scotland, regardless of sort of who I'm sitting with or whatever. And it's just brilliant to see Rangers lift a trophy from what they've been through this season, getting so close in the Europa League. They pushed Celtic quite close in the league, obviously they won the league last season. They were the semi-finalists in the League Cup. So I think for them to have won a trophy, I think they deserve a trophy this season. So glad for them as the players. And the last question, do you think this is a remedy for them after that penalty shootout drama in the Europa League final? I don't think it quite papers over the cracks of the Europa League final. That's still going to be a hard one for them to take. That will hurt for a long time. But You were there as well, right? Yeah, I wasn't there. No, you sadly I wasn't there. Um, I was in Scotland for it, but um, I think this will make them feel a lot better after losing in Seville. But, you know, that's still a tough one for them to take. Thank you very much. My Thank pleasure. you, mate. Thank you. Good luck. So, Scottish Cup winners 2022, Glasgow Rangers, credit to them because they were strong enough in extra time to put two quick goals past Hearts. And Hearts had a, a big chance in the beginning of the match, but they didn't really turn on in the time after it. So, it was a deserved victory for Rangers. They had many, many attacks. They could have easily decided it in a regular time as well. It was great to see Footy Adventures. Check his channel below, although it's way more popular than me so you've probably seen him before as well before seeing my vlog yeah guys i hope you enjoyed today's content i was hfv and uh, hoping to see you on the channel for the next video take care goodbye